Right now, the next task, okay, you have already got the results. You need to get the percentage removal. Okay, what do we mean by percentage removal? We know that we start with 100 milligram per liter, and then the concentration after 5 minutes at height 0 0.5 is 20. That means 80% has been removed. Okay, 100 minus 20 divided by 100 times 100%. That's why you got 80%. And then that's 40. That means 60% uh, has been removed. And then at the point 1.5 meters, 5 minutes, so 60 60 milligram per liter is detected here. That means 40% has been removed. So you can just uh, basically fill up all the uh, percentage removal by doing simple calculations. So is it clear now? Is it clear how to calculate the percentage removal? Clear, clear, clear. clear. Right, okay. So this is basically the thing that you will see in sedimentation topic so, okay the question in sedimentation topic do you be given data on concentration at different level and different time so you need to convert this concentration level into the percentage removal so this is the first task that you need to know right so you've already got this data so what is the normal question what is the typical question for sedimentation topics so there are two types of questions in sedimentation topic so the first one the v naught is given the overflow rate is given people okay and you need to find the effectiveness of the tank or sometimes it's being called as total removal of the tank or the rt of the tank what it means okay as a civil engineer you were asked to design a tank with overflow rate of 20 meter per day okay guys design a tank with 20 meter per day of the overflow rate so what would be the percentage removal of the particles 80 percent 100 percent 90 percent or what okay that is one kind of question and another type of question they will give you the effectiveness or the rt or the total removal they are all the same okay but find the v naught of the uh, of the tank so, for the second part of questions, as a civil engineer, you were probably going to be asked by your uh, boss to design a tank that can remove 80% of the particles from the flocculation tank. So, you need to design a tank, a sedimentation tank that can remove 80%. So, find out the v naught. What should be the v naught? What should be the overflow rate? Okay? So, that is the second part of the question. For today, I would like to go through the first part of the question, okay, a simpler form of the question, which is the V0 is given. So let's look at my example. This is not in your book. This is something outside. So if you want to jot down that you are very welcome to do so. So right, find the RT or find the effectiveness when the V0 is 0 0.5 meter per minute. So you remember the, this table, where do I get this table from? Is your previous experiment, okay? The, the same results, like the previous slide, okay? Whereby you have a settling column, you make experiments starting with 100 milligram per liter of uh, silicon, and then you probe the concentration, and eventually you calculate the percentage removal of the silicon at every different height, and every different times okay so these are your results so you would like to find out your tank okay the, uh, the effectiveness of your tank to be designed if you have the overflow rate of the tank to be 0 0.15 meter per minute so how do we go about that okay can I just move to the next slide? Okay, I move to the next slide, yeah? So, right, you already got this table, you have calculated it. So the next step is to plot a graph. Okay? Plot a graph. What kind of graph that we like to plot? Okay, the first one is you have to plot a depth. 
the y axis to be the depth of the height in meters and the x axis to be the time in minutes okay so if you have 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes then this is your 5 minutes 10 minutes and 15 minutes and this is the height of the column starting zero from the top and then you have 0 0.5 and then you have 1 and then you have 1.5 so do this first okay have your uh, graph paper and draw the axis for the x-axis and the y-axis so that is the first step so can I proceed yes, doctor, yes. okay next step is to put dots okay dots at every point not every point okay at the point of results okay remember that you have five minutes 0 0.5 so you have results right so five minutes 0 0.5 you have results so put dots there and then five minutes at uh, uh, five minutes at one meter you have results so five minutes at one meter you have results so put dots there and then 1.5 five minutes 1.5 five minutes with so dots also so here uh, 10 minutes, 1 meter, 10 minutes, 1 meter, so dots. Okay, you just put dots at result, uh, at the point where you got the results, okay? So you really put the, all the dots and then label the dots like that. Okay, label it with the value itself. So at 5 minutes, 0 0.5 is 80%. So 5 minutes, sorry, this is 5 minutes. 0 0.5, 80%. We just check here, let's see, for instance. 15 minutes at 0.1 meter. 15 minutes at 0.1 meter, so 80%. So yeah, it's also being labeled as 80, that's right. So I have, hopefully I have not done anything wrong. Check another point. At 10 minutes, 1.5 meters. 10 minutes, 1.5 meters, 50%. So you also, 50% has been labeled. So that is the next step. <clears throat> After you are uh, drawn, after you have drawn all the dots and label them with their own values, now we have to draw lines. And the first line that you have to draw is this line, okay? A long line that is parallel to the x-axis and we label it as to be 100% line, okay? What it means is at the point of zero, we start with uh, hundred percent, and then try to connect, okay, points with the same value, points that have the same values. Like, so, let for example, is eighty, and we also have eighty here. So try to connect this line, okay, eighty and eighty, like that. So eighty. At 80%. So you have drawn one line and we label it as 80% line. Right, and then anyway, you can see another line, 60 there, 60 there. I think 60 will be interesting to uh, to be connected. So we draw another line which is 60% line. And then, yes, okay, we draw another line which is 50% line. So I just draw this line. I draw one, two, three, four lines already. Okay, so those are the lines. And those lines are called ISO concentration lines. <clears throat> okay, what it means along this line, the percentage removal of the particles will be 80%. Along this line, all the particles will be removed at 60%. And all this line, all the particles will be removed at 50%. Okay? Basically, if you have a height, uh, sorry, at 10 minutes, at height of, uh, let's see here, okay? This is 1, 1.0, 1.2, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, okay? Uh, at sorry, I miss it. Okay, this is ten. It means eleven. Okay, sorry. That point. This point is eleven minutes, and then at one point three. So if you do the experiment of hundred milligram per liter of silicon, 
after 11 minutes at height 1.3 assuming that you can have the opening at 1.3 and you check and you can see that the uh, percentage removal at that point at that particular time would be 60 percent that's what it means okay <clears throat> okay up to this point do you have any questions Betul. Yes. Memang kena buat tiga line tu saja. Uh, it's up to you. You can do how many lines that you want. Okay. Do not be too lazy. Just draw one line. It's not enough. At least two or three would be better. But if you just so ambitious, you want to draw ninety percent line, you can always draw ninety percent line. Tambah lagi. Add another lines. The more lines you put, the more the longer the calculation will be. Okay, for your exams or in your test. So, two or three, a uh, three will be enough. Okay, three to four lines will be enough. Three including the 100% line. Right. Doctor. Yes. Nak, nak pilih line mana, doctor? The line that you like. If you're not happy with 80%, you want, you think that it will be challenging if I can put line na 85%, you can always put that. Okay, just draw like 80%, like 85% line. It doesn't matter. So you have to find out where is 80%. So 80 is here. Perhaps 85 will be there. So you try to connect 85 with 85. It's totally up to you. I'm choosing simple line. So that's why I'm choosing 80% line. 60 or 50. Okay? Okay, okay that's it. Alright. <clears throat>